Decluttering your closet is all well and good, but if you've ever actually tried it, you will know that there are some items of clothing that you just can't seem to let go of or can't seem to make a decision on. Wouldn't it be great if there was some kind of guideline or criteria that would let you know if you're making the right decision? Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and I help you live a simpler, happier, more spacious life. And in the past I have given plenty of decluttering questions that you can ask yourself when it comes to keeping an item or getting rid of it. But today I want to focus specifically on the closet because I know that general questions don't really suffice for each individual category. So if clothes and accessories is something that you are particularly struggling with, these are the specific questions you can ask ask to get clear answers. Also, if there are other specific categories that you would like me to provide questions for, just let me know in the comments. The first one is the obvious one. I'm not going to spend any time on this, but that is, does it fit and is it comfortable? Now, if it doesn't fit right now, but you think it might in the future, I would still recommend getting that out of your closet. Your closet or your wardrobe or your drawer or wherever you store your clothes should only be for the clothes that fit you and that you want to wear right now. Otherwise, you are just having to go through a lot of clothes that don't currently fit you and that becomes a very frustrating experience. So if they don't fit right now but you think that they might give yourself a deadline but get them out of your closet, get them out of your regular rotation. And when it comes to comfort then, yes comfort is a big factor when it comes to your clothes but don't mistake comfort for something making you feel good which is why the first kind of proper official question on this list is does it make you feel good? confident? Does it make you feel good in your own skin? There are plenty of clothes that are comfortable that you can lounge around in but very often those types of clothes or a certain section of those types of clothes don't actually make you feel good. They may make you feel kind of lazy or lethargic or slouchy. They might contribute to that feeling whereas there are plenty of lounge worthy clothes that you can wear that you still feel good in. They're comfortable but you still feel great in. So ask yourself is this something that you feel confident in? Is it something that you feel good in? Is it contributing to happy positive feelings? Next then is how often do you wear it? We all have clothes in our closets that we don't wear on a very regular basis because they are kind of more occasion wear. But if you attend like one to two occasions a year and you have 20 occasion dresses, like I do, <laughs> I'm very guilty of this, asking yourself how often you actually wear it can be an eye-opening experience. It may bring up answers that you don't want to hear, but it can help put things in perspective. For me, I don't necessarily like wearing the same dress to different occasions, but when I break it down in terms of how often I wear things, if I am only going to one or two occasions a year and I have 20 occasion wear dresses, then the chances of me actually re-wearing one, like wearing it twice, there's probably going to be about 10 years <laughs> in between those two occasions. Very often that's enough to kind of give me that wake up call. So how often do you wear it and realistically how regularly will you wear it given the number of kind of events or occasions or specific purposes that you would wear that item of clothing for? Obviously with occasion wear you're probably going to be wearing it less often than you your kind of regular rotation stuff, your t-shirts, your jeans, etc. That is why I don't follow that rule of kind of like if you haven't worn it in the last 12 months, etc., then you should get rid of it because some pieces are not really meant to be worn on more than a yearly basis. But figuring out how often you could potentially wear it and how often you are actually wearing it, that can help make a clear decision for you. The next question is probably the one that is going to help you get rid of the most amount of clothes. Maybe, I think, and that is, do you skip over it in favor of something else? If you only have five t-shirts, you might not think that that's a lot, but if you're only actually wearing two or three of those, those are the ones that you always reach for, whereas the other ones are kind of ones that they're last resort type clothes those are the ones that it's time to let go of. If you're skipping over them, if those are the ones that you always pass by on your way to another item of clothing, it's time to let those ones go. I know you might think, well, they're still nice, they do fit me, they do flatter me, etc. But for some reason, 
you're not actually wearing it. You have a preferred item of clothing that you go to instead. And you don't have to know what that reason is. It might be some kind of subconscious reason. Very often we don't really know why we're not using an item. And I have found that in the past. There are certain clothes that I do like that in theory should be great and they do fit me, etc. But for some unknown reason, I just never ended up wearing them. Don't try and figure it out if you just know that this is an item that you're not wearing, that you have another one that you reach for more often. It's time to let that other one go to someone else if it's still in good condition. Pass it on to someone who actually will wear it, who will prefer it. Life's too short not to fill it with your favorites. Another question then is, is it likely that I will ever wear this item again? And if so, how likely? Like with all of those occasion dresses, yes, I could potentially wear all of them at some point in the future, but how likely is that really? As an introverted home bird, I don't really go that many places. I don't really go to that many special events. So keeping, uh, you know, like dresses that are specifically for weddings or something, I'm not really likely to be going to enough of those to warrant having a lot of dresses, a lot of formal wear. So yes, an item might fit you, it might be comfortable, you might feel confident in it, you might have worn it in the past, you might think, yes, this is an item I would wear again, but really, how likely is that? What are the chances of you having another opportunity to go to a black tie event or something like that. This is one that really helped me because in my kind of former life, I was a lawyer and wore obviously a lot of suits. Whereas nowadays, I don't wear quite that many <laughs> or any at all. So while I did love the suits, while they did fit and flatter me and I looked and felt great in them and I had got a lot of use out of them, it was not likely and it isn't likely that I'm going to wear a lot of suits in the future. I still kept a small handful just in case, but realistically I am never, hopefully, <laughs> going to require to wear a suit on a very regular basis. So that made it easier for me to let a lot of those go. It was a former life that is likely never going to happen again. And listen, even if it does, my shape has changed so much since those days that those suits right now would not fit me. Another question that really helped me the last time I was going through my closet was, is this my style or the style that I want to have? Very often we buy things maybe because they look good on a mannequin, maybe because they looked good on someone else. We saw a celebrity wearing it or something. We saw it in a magazine and it looked great. And then we bought it and for some reason it just doesn't look great on us or we don't feel great in it. And that's because everyone has their own sense of style. And you may not have figured that out yet. It took me a long time to figure mine out and it's okay as well to have multiple different styles because we're all multifaceted people. But once you narrow it down to kind of three to four styles that you like and that you feel suit you and that you feel great in, that can really help to let go of a lot of the outside stuff, the stuff that doesn't quite fit into those style categories. A lot of my clothes are very 90s, so they will be kind of like 90s grunge. I have a lot of that sort of stuff. There's also kind of a 90s children's TV presenter vibe. I like a lot of like jumpsuits and bright colors and unicorns and rainbows and sequins and things. And then some of my clothes have a very 1950s housewife vibe to them. So I guess you'd say that those are kind of the three main style sets that I have. And once I realized that, once I had narrowed down to uh, that style, and yes, they are kind of very different from each other, but depending on my mood, they do suit me. Once I had realized that those were the uh, kind of outfits or the styles that I gravitated towards, it was much easier for me to let go of all of the other things, a lot of kind of trendy things that just didn't fit in with that style. There are plenty of styles that I would love to uh, feel great in, to look great in, but they just don't suit me. It's also stopped me buying those clothes in future because now that I've realized what styles I gravitate towards and what styles fit me and flatter me, it saves me from looking at someone else and thinking, wow, that outfit looks great. I might look great in that. No, 
I know now that if it's not within one of those kind of three style sets, chances are it's not going to fit or flatter me or look great on me. I'm not going to feel good in it. I'm just going to feel like an imposter. I'm going to feel like someone who is playing dress up. So figure out what your style is. What are the things that you generally look and feel great in? And like I said, it could be more than one style. Generally, I find it is. We all have, I feel, like three to four different styles, given different days, different moods, etc. I think the more often you go through your clothes and kind of pare them down, the more those patterns will become obvious to you. Does this item of clothing fit in with the style that you currently have and like or the style that you are aiming for? So maybe right now you feel that you wear a lot of kind of 90s grunge clothes and you're trying to get away from that and more into the 1950s housewife vibe and you don't feel that the grunge is kind of fitting you anymore, you just, you've moved past that stage of your life, then look for the clothes that fit in with the new style that you want. Again, as long as you feel great in it. That can be a process, so don't worry if you don't figure it out very early on. I only figured this out, I think it was last year. So, and I'm 37 now, I figured it out when I was 35, 36, so. Uh, no rush on it, it can be a process. But like I said, as you continue to pare down your clothes, it will start to become more obvious to you. Keeping that question in mind can help with that process. Okay, this next one is a great one and it applies not just to clothes, but to a lot of different things. And that is, if this item got damaged, and it doesn't have to be in like a big horrendous way, but if it lost a button, if the zipper got stuck, something like that, would you bother taking the time and effort and energy and maybe money it takes to fix or repair that item? I had a coat years ago, beautiful coat, loved it, but then a button popped off and I was thinking, oh, I'm definitely going to sew that button back on, but it sat there month after month and I realized that I was just wearing other coats <laughs> instead. You know, even though I kept telling myself I loved the coat and it was a beautiful coat, if I really loved it that much, I would have put aside the five minutes it would have taken to sew that button back on. So if one of your items of clothing got damaged in some way, if the moths got at it, if there was a tear in it, if it needed the hem taken up, if it needed something let out, if it just needed some work to get it back into good condition, would you bother doing it? I had a situation with a dress that I really loved and did wear regularly, but it came out of the dryer one day with a lot of tiny little holes in it. Don't even know how it happened. It must have got snagged on something in the dryer. But I realized in that moment that I was not going to take the time and effort to stitch up all of those tiny little holes. I was not going to bring it to someone else who would do that for me. So I let the dress go and it got me thinking, how many other items of clothing do I have where if they came out of the dryer like this, would I be willing to let those go? Realizing that, you know, if a button fell off, you wouldn't be bothered sewing it back on. Or if a pair of trousers needed to be hemmed, you just wouldn't bother doing it. All of those types of considerations, you know, if you spilled something on it, are you going to invest the time, the energy, the effort, potentially the money that will be required to restore that item? If the answer is no, then you don't love it as much as you thought you did and it's time to maybe pass it on to someone else. And then it was actually the reverse of this situation that got me thinking about this question, but if you had a chance to repurchase this item. Would you do it? There are so many items of clothing that I wish I had bought a second one of because I've had them for years and you know, inevitably they're going to get worn down and I'm going to have to let them go. And I know that that will be a very sad day for me. So there are plenty of items where I constantly think to myself, oh, I wish I had a backup of this item or I wish I had it in another color, etc. And look, it's kind of impossible to say when you buy an item whether or not you are going to fall in love with it that much. But thinking about whether you would actually go out and repurchase this item. If you were in a store and you saw this item again, would you think, yes, I need to have a backup of this item or yes, I need to have this item in another color or I don't know, slightly different neckline or whatever. 
would you repurchase it? I have some skirts and dresses that I absolutely love and then you know saw them on sale somewhere or saw that they had them in a different color and went and purchased those new items and then like I said on the flip side I have other items that I absolutely love and adore and if I did see them out in the wild somewhere I would absolutely repurchase them. This for example, I bought this years and years ago in Portugal and I absolutely love it, wear it on a very regular basis. And I only have one of them and I know the day will come when I will have to let this one go because it will just fall apart from me wearing it so much. If I saw another one of these when I was out and about, I would absolutely snatch it up. I would snatch up 10 of them. <laughs> and this dress, this navy dress, loved it so much that I went and purchased it in green and it must be in the wash because it's not here. That will tell you how often I wear those. So would you snap up another one? Or would you just let it be? If you're looking for lots, lots more questions that will apply to pretty much any category, then I have a free PDF that lists tons of them for you. Details on how you can download that will be in the description. And like I said, if there's another category where you would like me to go through questions that are specific to that category, just let me know in the comments. And until next time, grev mila mahagwev. Agus fekimei shifshikalua. Slaan! <laughs>